it just has to be known that mental health issues is normal and it's fine to talk about it. I think it has been talked enough. I mean, yeah, even like over there, there's quite a lot of posters. Poster. Post up. There's posters everywhere. Is a good amount, but there could be progress. It's getting better and better. Kinda. To be honest, I don't think it's talked about enough. The university does provide some emails and information about mental health. But apart from that, not really. I don't really hear anything else from the actual uni. For campaigns, not so much. Honestly, I don't think it's the best. I don't think so, no. It's not very clear what services are available. I think so. Yeah, so they're trying to. Nothing very active. Uh, I would say to some extent. It's hard to tell though. I mean, I imagine they're doing some things, but I imagine it's definitely not enough. Because if I'm not seeing it, then then no. <laughs> it's very superficial. If they're doing a good job by it, it's a different question. Are they trying to? It's not doing that much of a uh, like big difference. They kind of say that they care because people need to hear that, but they're not actually doing enough beneath the surface. About fighting the stigma, they could probably do a little bit more. They could do more things to help. Uh, the uni is being too passive when it comes to mental health issues. Really just keep talking about it. It's not a one-time thing that happens. It's just like you have to keep talking about mental health for people to open up. I've used the counselling service here in first year. And they were relatively helpful. It was like three sessions. It did help a little bit, but also I cannot really say that it massively improved my mental health overall. Uh, I had to wait in excess of six weeks for an appointment. And I was on a waiting list for like five weeks. And then I finally was able to go to the counselling and I found out that I have severe depression and anxiety. Um, with the mental health services and when I did get a, an appointment, I basically got a very short bullet, po a bullet point list on a notebook, on a notepad. Um, of things that I could try and do differently um, but other than that no help whatsoever and then it would have been another six weeks for the next appointment. Actually it helped me to actually go to my GP and start meds and actively work on helping myself get the right therapy. The, he went through the university's counselors but in the end they didn't really help him that much so he had to pay out of his own pockets for private med medical health care and that benefited him more than staying on campus and going through all these counselors. The information that I got from that appointment, I could have gone by going on WebMD, just Googling it um, and not waiting six weeks, thinking that I was going to get some, some kind of better help. 